Hey y'all, Neri here from Drake Wing Gaming. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I hope you all are having a wonderful time with family, with friends, or by yourself. I'm here to bring you some entertainment, guys and gals. So we're doing a new episode of Tennessee Shuichi's Path. Let's go ahead and jump right back in, y'all. May the may the see may the holidays may the holidays feelings be with you today. Or whatever the hell they say. <laughs> Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's get this Christmas party started. All right. <clears throat> There's no way I can tell him without also letting him know about Shuichi and I as being a couple. You've already told him, you forgetful dude. You forgetful creature. After all, even though we've been dating for a while now, due to how busy we usually are, we haven't really had any proper dates so far. Or, um, <clears throat> actually none really come to mind. Shuichi is always a huge stickler for doing things the proper way. If we're just hanging out together like usual, he would completely refuse to acknowledge it as a date. The end result is that, for most of the time, it feels like absolutely nothing has changed between us. We mostly still talk and joke around like we did when we were just friends. It's just that 1% of the time where... It's just that 1% of the time where... Hello, Earth to Aniki, are you listening? Oh, sorry, I got distracted. Seriously, what's going on with you this time? I'm just nervous, that's all. Uh-huh, nervous for completely unexplained reasons. That's not suspicious. I don't owe you a detailed report on my life. And yet, when it's me, I owe you one. Yes, that's what we call being a child. I'm an adult. You are the child. It's not a hard concept to understand. Don't talk down to me like I'm five. Honestly, I miss the time when you were five. You were so much cuter back then. Although, you didn't act like you didn't, and he didn't like me at all back then. Are you seriously not going to tell me what's going on? You do catch on fast. I'll kick you. I'll kick you. Good luck with that. I'm pretty sure that with this much distance between us, I'd outrun you real easy. I may not be the fastest runner, but I at least I don't have tiny legs. Now look at me all smug like that. What? Me? Smug? I'm never smug. You know what? Do whatever you want. I don't care. I'm gonna go play a game. Aw, don't be so cold. Stay here with me. What the hell do you want from me? Do you want to talk to me or not? I don't know. <sighs> Die. That's harsh. This is way too harsh. Why are you, what are you, why are, who are you learning this kind of stuff from? Don't talk to me like that. And stop wasting my time. Either talk or don't. Don't keep bugging me while begging me not to leave. Excuse you, I'm not begging. I just don't know how much, how much I should or shouldn't tell you. On the one hand, I feel like my relationship with Shuichi is at a point where I might as well start telling people about it. It certainly would be nice to not have to tiptoe around Aki. I talk to him so often that constantly having to police myself on what I do or don't tell him is exhausting. On the other hand, I have no guarantees that he wouldn't go right to Hitoka and tell her about us. I mean, I've never known him to be so stupid about boundaries before, but... Then again, I hadn't, you know, I hadn't known he'd been spying on me and reporting to her until recently. Not knowing what to do, I bite my lip, my hand stopping for the first time since I started cooking. Being indecisive has always been a flaw of mine, but rarely is it as annoying as it is today. I want to tell him, but I also don't want him to know. My brain goes around in circles over the subject, and I end up saying nothing. I'm going back to my room. But wait! Either tell me or either tell me something or don't. Don't keep don't keep bugging me if you're just going to stare at me without saying a word. I it's not like I don't want to tell you, it's just complicated. I don't know how to go about it. From the start might be nice. I also don't know if I should tell you at all. You're such a headache sometimes. Excuse me for wanting to be careful. I think you're confusing careful with afraid. What are you, a shrink? Don't try to analyze me. I already get enough of that from my friends at large. Just just, just leave me to myself. I'll, I'll work through it on my own. This after you told me multiple times not to leave because you wanted me to stay around. I don't want you to leave, but that doesn't mean I want to tell you about Shuichi and me either. Because maybe I'm holding myself to too high a standard. Gathering the strength to ask Saya-chan for advice was already way too much for a single weekend. I've earned the right to be secretive for a little while longer. Yeah, that sounds convincing enough. I'll go with that. Just just be a patient, a bit patient with me. I'm trying to work through it, but it's hard. Fine. It's not like I cared to know, to know it all that much. Okay, now that sounded really, really cold. It kind of bothers me a bit. Make up your damn mind! I'm trying to, okay? This sort of thing is hard. I can never tell how much is too much information or what is appropriate to share. This whole thing is new territory for me. Shuichi was a really close friend for so long, almost like a brother to Aki and me. Would he find us dating weird? Even if he didn't, I'm still not sure how the dynamic is supposed to work. The fact that we're so close makes it easier in parts, but also much more difficult in others. Or maybe that's just an excuse I'm telling myself, so I don't have to think too hard about it. I swear to God, my brain is exhausting sometimes. Look, I'm trying- A sudden- Suddenly, a knock echoes from the front door. 
causing Maya Aki's attention to snap to it. Are you expecting someone's visit or something? No, not really. I was actually going to leave as soon as I finished baking these cakes, so it's not like I invited anyone over. Is it one of your friends? Doubt it. They know to message me first before dropping by. Otherwise, I kicked them out. Seriously? You're way too young to be this much of a grouch. Can you act like a normal kid your age for crying out loud? Hang on, I'll go check who it is. With nothing else but a single nod from me, Aki disappeared into the entrance hallway. The sound of the door sliding open echoed from down the hall, followed by a gasp. Shuichi ni? What? Shuichi? What is he doing here? Come on, be cool, Yuichi. Don't let him see you nervous. <laughs> One look around this kitchen and anyone can tell that I'm nervous. Ah! Not good! Sure enough, less than a minute after his presence was first made known to me, Shuichi appeared from the doorway. He looked about the same as always, dressed in his favorite shirt and shorts, except he had some kind of bag around his shoulder. Aki followed closely behind him, smiling ear to ear. Morning! Thought I'd pass but Wait, what the hell is this? Shuichi's eyes go wide for a second, looking around the mess that I've made with a mix of horror and bewilderment. Who are you cooking for? Why is there so much food? I needed a distraction. From what? You don't need to ask me that question. You should know already, you stupid husky. Hey, hey, Shuichi-ni. How come you're here? Ah, oh, sorry, I got sidetracked. Yuichi and I agreed to go out to get to to go out together today, so I thought I'd drop by a bit earlier than usual to say hi. Then we could go out together instead of meeting somewhere. Don't just drop by and announce. That's not good for my heart. I really didn't want you to see this mess. As you can see, Aniki is kind of in the middle of something. Yeah, I can tell. That is, that, that is so much stuff. Holy crap. He said he was nervous. Hmm. Nervous, huh? Aki! What? Why are you calling my name out like that? It's true. You literally said that to me. It's not the point. Just be quiet. Oh. Ah, don't look at me like that. How very cute. Stop that! You stop that right now! This isn't good for my heart. This isn't- this so isn't good for my heart. Whoa, Aniki, your face went super ri- Yes, I am aware. Shut up, you! Alright, you heard your brother, Aki-kun. Let's not get on his case too much right now. Aww. Chuichi walks to a nearby counter, with me taking- with me making sure to keep watch over- keep watch over him with the corner of my eyes, just to, to make sure he doesn't try to be funny. Instead, I see him grab a nearby dishcloth. In a move that leaves my mouth again, Shuichi starts cleaning up after me, getting rid of any stains or spillovers on the kitchen counters and cabinets. But, hey, what are you doing? Huh? I'm cleaning it. Can't you tell? Of course I can tell. My point is, why? Why not? If you're clearly busy. If I can help, then why wouldn't I? You don't have to trouble yourself. It's no trouble. I'm already an expert homemaker on my own anyway. What? You live on your own for a few months every year, and that makes you an expert homemaker? Strong words from the kid that is standing around doing nothing. I... 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 Oh dear, it's not often that I see Aki try to sass Shuichi of all people, but that one didn't work out for didn't work out for we, for him well at all. It's right, you get some sass to yourself, you little brat. Aniki, don't you dare laugh. Sorry, I just oh man. In no time flat, Shuichi has managed to cleaning up the entirety of the kitchen counters, moving along to any dishes or bowls that were used and not yet not yet clean. He's pretty fast with this sort of thing. I have to give it to him. Everything he touches is soon left sparkling clean. Dishes, silverware, assorted utensils. You, where do you want me to put this? Oh, uh, the cabinet to your left is where we keep the other bowls. Just stack it on top of them. Got it. He really is efficient. <sighs> I thought the same back when we held that party for Takihiko-san, but Shuichi is fairly good at these kinds of repetitive tasks. It's sort of the thing that would quickly leave me bored and fidgety, and so I might be guilty of cutting quarters here and there to get it, to get it done sooner. Of course, in a scenario like that, the results would really speak for themselves. Shuichi's always been good at repetition, though. Whether he does something once or a hundred times, or one hundred times, he puts the exact same level of care into it at all. Into it all. Come to think of it, that might be why he's always been the ideal sportsman. Granted, with him, that level of effort was always necessary just to keep up with everyone around him. But at the same time, that kind of work ethic is hard to find. I've always been guilty of looking for ways to slack off during the boring rep repetitious stuff. Be it practice, cleaning, homework, I get sick of all of it real fast. I'm done with these. Is there anything else you need clean? Uh, just a sec. Uh, I'm about to finish frying this. Can I ask you to take care of the skillet after? Sure, it's not a problem. Be careful, the oil is really, really hot. Yes, I'm aware. I'm not stupid. I never said you were. I just don't want you to burning yourself. You know... Hmm? Aki, who has been quietly watching us through all this, finally speaks up, drawing our attention back to him. I even forgot he was in the room for a second there. I'm not really sure how to put it, but you two seem a bit different. 
Different how? Different in the way you talk to each other and all. Did something good happen? Huh? Why did he look right at me when I asked that? When he asked that? Huh, I suppose you could say that. Shuichi! I see. I'm glad to hear. Huh? What are you two saying? It's really subtle, though. I wouldn't be surprised if other people didn't notice at all. I'm not imagining things, am I? He's beating around the bush, but he's definitely implying that... That... I'm glad to hear that, too. I've been worried if it'd been obvious. Nah, you're good. I've pretty much known for a while, though. What? You have? Maybe. He... I... This... Uh... We're... Are we actually talking about what I think we're talking about? Oh god, what is going on here? I'm kind of curious. How could you tell? Mostly because of Aniki. Me? Aki nods. You don't usually care about what other people do or how they think of you. And despite all that, you've been extra attentive around Shuichi Ni lately. Fussing over what he thinks of things or getting nervous when he's around, you also started studying a lot more. <laughs> Has he really been acting like that? I'm kind of happy to hear it. This is a lot more embarrassing than I thought it would be. You shouldn't be embarrassed. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I think I remember you saying something like this before, but... My brain isn't going to let me relax until I'm absolutely sure, so... Can you just confirm to me that what exactly are you talking... Are we talking about here? Seriously, isn't context enough for you? Context has let me down way too often in the past. I'd rather be sure. We're talking about you and Shimichi need dating for a while now. <laughs> right. That's what I thought we were talking about. <laughs> You're an idiot. Shuichi walks past me while carrying a pile of utensils and sta to stack away in another cabinet. He stops while doing so, quickly giving me a peck on the cheek before moving along with what he was doing. What? Uh, <laughs> Aniki's face is really red. I know, I love it when he gets like this. What are you doing in front of Aki? What do you mean? He already knows. It's kind of pointless to try and keep it hidden while, when, he's already, when he already said so. I think it was the best kept secret I either ever either. See? You heard him. I will strangle you both. You know, how about we have lunch here? Really? You, you sure? I thought you said we wanted to eat out. That's true. I did say that. But look at the ridiculous amount of food in here. Even if all of us had lunch and dinner in here, there would still be leftovers for days. I told him that too. Quiet, you. Besides, I don't know, I like this mood. Is it bad that I want to stick around for a bit longer? It's not like I'm saying we won't go out at all. We can just leave after lunch. Well, I guess it really would be a waste to not do something with all this food. Yay! How come you're so excited for lunch? Shuichi is always so busy. I don't want it. I don't get many chances to spend time with him. So you're basically going to be crashing our date. And again, I guess the date doesn't really start until we leave the house. Also, I'm not sure how to feel about Aki being so excited about Shuichi having lunch at home, but not really caring for me. I kind of feel a bit jealous of just how much he likes Shuichi. Okay, then, it's settled. Now, you just have to invite me for lunch. Huh? Don't look at me like that. Etiquette is important. This is a date, after all. Wait, are you saying the date has actually started? Because Aki is here and all. So? Yeah, so? Could you two stop agreeing with each other for a single second here and stop to think about how fucking weird that is? Why is my little brother hanging around on our date? Come on, you. You don't have to look so serious. I was just joking. I just feel weird inviting myself to lunch at your place. So that's, so that's, so that was it. Sheesh, you're so fussy. You're pretty much already on unofficial fourth, an unofficial fourth member of our household anyway. Not like you need anyone's permission. Of course I do. Manners are important. Yeah, yeah, that sounds more like you, all right. Okay, I'll play along. Would you like to stay for lunch, Shuichi? Hmm. Yeah, I would. Thanks for the invite. <laughs> Why are you acting all giddy over an invitation you asked me for? You're so weird. This is really nice. It's been a while since the four of us ate together. Four of us? Oh, right. Mom is home. Really? Yeah, she had just started taking a bath when I came downstairs. She said Aniki was making a lot of noise downstairs and asked me to see what, we, what he was up to. Ugh, I can imagine that. That's really nice, though. I don't usually have the chance to talk with Masaki-san. I'll never understand why you're so happy whenever you get to see my mom. I've known, I've known Masaki-san since I was a kid. She's like an aunt to me. That's so... Well, I'd love to see how you explain to your aunt that you're dating her son, then. What? Uh, that's not... <laughs> Akikun, don't laugh. You're breaking my heart here. Sorry, your reaction was really funny. Huh. It's weird. This kind of atmosphere should have been very familiar to me by now. All that's missing is Hitoka hanging around for it to become a copy of the scenes of my childhood I'd grown so used to seeing. It also feels different. I guess because my relationship with Shuichi is different. Hmm. 
Relationships are weird sometimes. I'm not sure what to make of it at all. Hello there, Earth Shuichi. Is anybody home? I'm snapped out of my thoughts by the sound of Shuichi snapping his fingers in front of my face. Oh, s s sorry, I got distracted. I could tell. You had this crazy, thoughtful expression on your face. Is something the matter? Nah, not really. I was just getting lost in a bit of nostalgia. Hmm? Right? I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I can see what you mean. All we're missing is Satoka, and it suddenly becomes a childhood memory. Hmm? Whoa, were you really thinking the same thing as me? That's kind of awesome. Speaking of her, how's Satoka chen You should bring her around sometime. Huh, <laughs> how's Satoka? You have some gall asking me that when, all, when we all know you've been feeding her inside information on Yuichi and I. <laughs> Not my fault you guys were keeping her out of the loop. Just because you stopped talking to her doesn't mean I had to. Yeah, I don't blame you for that. I wasn't acting up, I wasn't acting like the best older brother out there. She was really happy yesterday, though. Really? Yeah, she was gushing about how she missed going out with Nichan. <laughs> Shuichi might have ever tried to act nonchalant about it in the past, but the mere mention of his sister being happy was enough to give him an indescribable look. <laughs> it's nice seeing him like that. Ah, and just to leave it... And just to leave it out there, you don't need to worry about me telling Hitoka chan about you guys. I've never shared any of my- I never shared my suspicions about you two with her. I- that's- I, I wasn't worried about that until now! What? I just told you not to worry! And you telling me not to worry is what made me worry! Stop being so difficult! Guys, guys, settle down! Don't tell us what to do! Don't tell us what to do! Eki and I both snap our attention to him, barking back at him at the same time. It's at times like these that I really start to see the family resemblance. Before we have a chance to continue our discussion, the sound of footsteps, soft and barely noticeable at first, begins to echo upstairs, reaching the stairs and making its way down. Morning! Good morning. Oh, Shuichi-kun. I almost didn't see you there. Really? How did you manage that? Look at how big he is. I'm not that much taller than you. Mom walks up to Shuichi, reaching up to his head, petting him gently. It's good to see your face. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Yuichi invited me to have lunch here. I hope that's alright with you. Of course it is. It's always good to have you around. I'm sure we have more than enough... Oh. Oh. Her eyes scan the rest of the kitchen, quickly falling on the ludicrous amount of pots and pans full of food I have lying around. Too many to even fit on the stove top, some having been dumped into glass containers that now rest on top of the counter. But, uh, Yuichi kun what is this? <laughs> I got a bit ahead of myself. Do we even have any ingredients left? Anything in the freezer at all? Um, I, I promise I'll go to the grocery store later today. Mom rubs her temple, sighing loudly. Don't bother. I doubt we'll need any for the foreseeable future. Alright guys and guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. I have a super thanks for a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next year. Oh, well, no. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!